Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, we'll be talking to the leader of a nonprofit that is helping restore faith to men who are behind bars. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. So I've got to tell you, one of the highlights of my uh, news career that lasted 25 years was I, I helped free an innocent man from prison. And as I was doing that, I, I got to know how hopeless some of the, the people behind bars must feel. And to talk about that today, uh, Dr. Jeffrey Parker, he's with uh, Rod Ministries. Thank you for coming on the show. Jeff, thank you for having me. Okay, let's talk about Rod Ministries. What does it stand for? Restoration Outreach of Dallas. Uh, it was founded by two men who was challenged to go into prison one night to facilitate a Bible study. And 21 years later, those men are still actively involved in prison ministry. Wow. And we, you and I were talking before the show. Uh, there are references in the Bible to, um, you know, how Jesus felt about people who are behind bars. You know, Jesus' disciples asked him, Lord, when were you in prison and we didn't visit you? And he said, if you haven't done this to the least of them... And so one of the things that Rod seeks to do is to go in and minister to those who are considered the least, the lost, the last. Those men are going to be released one day. And I always ask the question, how do you want these men to come home? A better criminal than when they went in or a man that, whose life has been impacted by the gospel of Jesus Christ? Wow. And you made the point to me that most of the New Testament was written by people who were exactly. behind bars? Exactly. I would think three-fourths of the New Testament was written uh, in prison by prisoners. The Apostle Paul, whom everyone loves to quote and talk about, was a prisoner himself. Jesus was a prisoner. And so we have this prison reference from the Bible that tells us who believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ that there is something that we should be doing to help those who are incarcerated and then those who are formerly incarcerated. Wow, outstanding. Well, we found a great little video. We want to go ahead and roll that now. Someone, somewhere, who's listening to me now, has had his life affected by an inmate. Thank the Lord once again for this great ministry. Amen. Either you know someone who has been incarcerated, or you know someone who will be incarcerated, and we want to change that life. We pray that when we speak, Lord God, that you would speak through us, oh God, and that come and spend an afternoon with me in prison, and your life will never be the same. Wow. Once upon a time, I was behind those barracks, but now here I am. When I see those men come out to attend class and they see me and they shake my hand and say, thank you for coming back in because it encourages them. Rod Ministries have taught me that, you know, they're there for me. I mean, these guys here never gave up on me. Um, I don't want to cry. Um, and especially God didn't give up on me. This sister didn't give up on me. I got free from the drug addiction and he's restored everything to me that I've lost before. And this woman came into my life. I've got a, an amazing job. I've got a baby on the way. I'm married. We're talking about restoring fathers back to their sons and, and daughters back to their father. God is good. God helps bridge that gap between prison and community. Wow. I'm blown away. Uh, you know, it occurs to me that our prison system is really good at confining people, yes. but they're not uh, really good at uh, kind of liberating them or giving them 
a, a, a new lease on life when they, when they leave. And that's really what Rod Ministries does, isn't it? The, the beauty of what we do, we don't just go into prison. Uh, we have an aftercare program where when these men are released back into our community, the men and women that they've seen teaching them the Bible on a weekly basis are the same men who will pick them up at the bus station and bring them into our aftercare facility where we continue to walk along beside these men to help them obtain jobs and clothing and food, shelter, until they are able to go forth on their own. And it makes a profound impact on their lives. Uh, you were giving me a statistic before the show about the number of people who reoffend after they've gone through your program. In the state of Texas, 63% of the men who are released will recidivate back into prison in less than three years. In five years, that number continued to increase up to 70%. Uh, if, since 2011, the men who've come through our program, uh, our percentage or recidivism rate is at 5% now. Wow, that is amazing. How do you reach, I mean, a lot of these men, uh, their, their heart has been hardened. How do you reach them? Uh, it's simple. We love on them. Most of the men who are incarcerated never had a father, and so they don't know their self-worth. We get to know them because every week we're in five Texas prisons, uh, and prior to 2020, our desire was to be into 10 prisons, but we just go in every week and we share the love of Christ with these men and the promises that we make them to have a place for them when they get out, we fulfill that promise. Those men take confident in the Word of God, confident in Rod Ministries, and they go out to leave uh, live better life, to lead better lives. Wow, it's so inspirational. There's a, uh, a nice newspaper article we're going to put on the screen right now from Voyage Dallas. Uh, the media loves this story. Um, th tell us uh, more about the ministry, and is, is there an individual, after all this time, that stands out when you think about, this is why I do what I do? Does somebody come to mind? Well, James, we had on the video here earlier, these men are still walking with me uh, to this day. Uh, just a long life of drug abuse and to see the work of God working in his life. And now he's married, he has a family, he manages a warehouse, and he's doing a great job. I get to see true life change. I pastor a local church, uh, and on a Sunday morning, I don't get to see what I see in prison. I get to see and live true life change. I mean, we talk about change, but I get to see it every single day in the lives of these men. Have you had anybody that you've helped who was incarcerated and now they're on your team uh, ministering to others? Well, yes, my associate pastor I met in prison, uh, uh, Derek, who, who is also on the video, he's one of the deacons in my church. One of the things that we do in Rod Ministry is once these men come out of prison, we encourage them to go back into prison to do unto others what has been done unto them. And so most of my team that's going back into prison, they've been incarcerated themselves. They are the most effective teachers that we have. Wow. Well, I, I, I have to imagine as a nonprofit, you can always use donations. Uh, your camera is there on the right. Go ahead and look into the camera and, and say whatever you would like to say to the person who's touched by your ministry and wants to help. Uh, first of all, I would just like to thank God for all of those who have been a part of Restoration Outreach of Dallas these years. And we do seek not only just financial support, if you desire to pour into the life or become a mentor to a man or a woman, who was incarcerated or who is incarcerated, give me a call. Wow. You've been an amazing guest. We're going to have to have you back again soon. We're going to put the website up to end the segment. RodMinistries.org is the website. Uh, Dr. Jeffrey Parker, thank you for coming on the show. Jeff, thank you for having me. You bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.